So when you've opened up Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new file. So I'm going to go to File, New, and we're going to look on our Print Presets, so our presets that are for printing, and we're going to find the A3 template, which is this one here. Alternatively, you can type all these settings in manually, but it's a lot quicker to click on your A3 preset. We're going to click Create, which makes our blank document, Then we're going to go to File, Save as, and we're going to save our document with our name, and we're going to call it Magazine Cover, and we're going to save it to our folder. I'm saving it to downloads on my computer because I don't have my own folder here. And make sure it's a Photoshop document, and then click Save. Then we're going to start off by importing our image from the photo shoot. We're going to go to File, Place Linked. I'm going to find our favorite photo from the photo shoot. I'm going to use this one which I found on the internet. So make sure you've got it highlighted and then click place. And when you've placed it in your image, you can see that it's made a new layer with your photo on. You can click and drag your photo around or you can grab the ends of your photo and drag them to make it smaller or bigger. Now when you're making your photo fit the page, you want to avoid stretching it either too high or too wide like I'm doing here and you can do that by holding shift down as you drag it and you can see that it stops me from being able to drag it too far to the side you can also hold down alt and that will stretch it from the middle of the picture so you can see that it's actually stretching it from the middle as opposed to the bottom corner like it is here and that lets me make it as big as I need it I can then drag it down to the bottom of my page and when I have it in position, I'm going to press return or enter on my keyboard and that's going to save my picture in its place. The next thing we want to do, if I turn off my background layer, is we want to get rid of the background of the photo, which in this case is this white background. And to do that, we're going to click on our photo layer, we're going to go down to add layer mask, which adds this white box here. And a layer mask is basically an image above your photo which you can paint black or white. When you paint it black, it makes your image disappear. So you can see the black line I've just painted there. And any bit you paint white brings the picture back. So that's a lot better than using the eraser tool because once you erase a part of the photo, there's no way of you bringing it back. So what we want to do is we want to select all of our white and paint that black because we want that to disappear. Now you could of course do it manually but that'll take you quite a long time and it'll get really difficult when you go around the hair and the skin. So the best way is to go to our magic wand tool, click on an area of the white background and you can see that it's already highlighted all of the white area. Go back to our paintbrush with the black paint and just paint over our image and you can see it's only painting black over the selected part. When you've got that done, go to select, deselect you can see everything's back to normal. We turn on our background layer again and then go to File, Save to save our work. And then when you get this option, just click OK.